what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and today what we're doing is basically what we told you about what two weeks ago this is an easy way for if those plants are getting too high you can actually buy those high plants two three dollars if that's all you got if you really don't know how to propagate um, the bush ones you really don't have to worry about trying to take off cutting so if you're buying bush plants you're not going to really be able to do this with as much success as if you were buying the indeterminate plants the indeterminate plants are the one that's going to give you those um, new plants over and over and over and Bev's is going to show you just how we're doing that um, these plants cost us about what you said about 50 cent a piece, 50 cent a piece. yeah about 50 cent a piece yeah for a four pack so a little bit more than if you was buying seeds yes. yes but here's a way before you getting your seeds off of the plant itself um oh yeah and you want to clean that up yeah. you gotta clean up Would the bottom the of these plants put it inside a, um, uh, another kind of pot so you can throw it away or you can uh, burn it so yeah they have burn it or trash can yes yeah, so we're going to take the sucker out, which is this one, because we did we really don't really want this to grow yeah, on the bottom yeah, part. No. So we're going to take that one and then go use. Well, we could take both of those at the bottom, yeah. huh? I think, yeah, those ones are both going to come out. That's one. Two that's one. a new plant there. And this one going to come out here. Nice size. Nice size, and it's already start coming like uh roots is already start coming out from it um, so yeah, i'm outside right, right here so this is gonna be two plants already that came out from just one, one plant, plant. Yeah. so now we bought one plant yeah. now we got three plants so this time like and also we gonna need of course some old yeah. bottle with some water on it Got some little Gatorade bottles yeah. that my son had from practice or something. And we need to just drop know the variety there. of this. So we just drop them down. You're going to see soon enough, you're going to see some roots coming out from this. And like you say, uh, it's plants. already kind of started yeah. rooting. Yeah. And these are the black creams. So mm. I'm going to put black cream on this so I would know which, what, what variety, we're putting in yeah, there. what variety is it. And so we don't get it mixed up with the rest of our tomatoes beautiful and that's just our one and these things have suckers everywhere yes. on these plants they're probably going we're gonna need some new bottles a lot of <laughs> yeah. and all of these what we're trying to do is we started these outside they love outside sun but those extra plants we're gonna find places throughout the property just to stick these plants in so you're actually gonna extend your harvest by by using the sucker the propagation method of actually pulling suckers so that's how you just clean up just take the ones that like all the stuff that's falling out over here like all the leaves that so um, nothing is touching the touching ground. the ground you have to take it out and stuff so they don't because that's the one that's trying to get all the worm that's coming like they had some worms sometimes on the ground that like you don't this want. one those worms are just climb straight up to the that yeah. plant Look at this. Yeah, we got a couple of little. Take all that out. Don't hesitate taking off the bottom leaves. Yes, it's not going to hurt the, the uh, plant. It will like it because it will put all the nutrients to the trunk instead of mostly Just like leaves. a lot of leaves. So this is good disease prevention. And I just see all those suckers just coming out of there. So yeah. how you gonna do that? Oh, and it's already got flowers on it too, baby. This one gotta come Look out. That. Oh, I don't think this one. This one to Look the top, it probably gotta come out right here. Yeah, go ahead. Take out what you wanna take out. We got enough up here to the top where you can take off all those at the bottom, really. This one. That bottom one down too, the one that's under that one can come out. This is all black cream, so they can be mixed with over here. And 
looking really good. That one on that back side? Yeah, you can take that one off at the bottom. Yeah, those two. Those two together? Uh, I think this one can stay so it okay. can do that way. Yeah. But take this that one off. need to come out because it's going the other way. So this one can be pushed out a little bit whenever I have um uh, thing I'm gonna push it out a little bit. Oh, as leaves. it grows. Yeah. Okay. So we got so many black crumb, and if you don't know what black crumb is, um, here's that sticker right there. And that's just off of two plants, two plants. that you've cleaned up. It's probably up. not going to be enough for, like, you know, to put them in, but we're probably going to find more, more uh, bottles. <laughs> so I, got, but I would know what which one is. So this one got to clean up this one to see which one I'm going to take. So, and it's also, it's hard to see if you don't trim it first before you look at all them mm. suckers. Easier to find those worms too, right? Yeah. The less leaves, because sometimes those leaves can kind of get you where it's like, it's so many leaves, you can't find that hornworm until they've eaten your plant. But when you're cleaning up that bottom and you're getting the airflow that you want, you can actually put in some other kind of green uh, kale and stuff at the bottom of these. This one growing some cute, I mean, but no. we have sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes down there. Growing here. And we just gotta keep the keep the weeds down until the sweet potatoes take over. So this one gotta come out. Yeah, and, and the smaller the out. smaller Look suckers we have a little smaller. Look at that. Huh. Oh. The worm, uh, fell out. A worm was on it. We'll find it. It'll get back up on that plant. So this one's gonna come out. And we got some man. We got plants. We got plants for days. Just off of you gotta learn these skills. Just off of buying those couple of plants, we've given ourselves before we even get the tomatoes. Before we even get the seeds. Right. Remember. We're gonna get seeds from the tomatoes themselves. But before we even get to that point, we already just, look behind bells, already we probably got another 10 plants that we're not getting from the nursery. So remember, we start we start about 50, 50, 50% 50 of our plants from nurseries, but with tomato plants, it's a no brainer. Even if it's kinda, kinda expensive, you can still make out, so. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Grow, grow, 